I'm Amanda Blum from Roseboro Travel. I'm one of the co-owners here and education is extremely important to us. So one of the things that we are always really excited to do is stay up in all of the cruise trends, tour trends, all-inclusive resorts, and make sure that we're on top of things for you, the traveler, to make sure that we can stay consistent and excited about the the newest and exciting, most exciting trends for you. So one of the things that I just got done doing was earning my Disney's Cruise Line College of Knowledge uh, credit. So again, that's with Disney Cruise Line. I'm so excited. I think uh, Tinkerbell came and sprinkled a little pixie dust on me last night and I got really excited about it. Um, and yes, that is true. I do have a two-year-old, so I get a little bit excited about Disney things. Um, but I am here to tell you about all of the things magical for kids of all ages, so adults do not tune out to this. Kids of all ages can have a magical time on Disney Cruise Line. So I'm going to tell you um, why Disney Cruise Line is going to be amazing for you, your family, and even if you don't bring the kids along and you don't want to be anywhere around kids at all, how you can have a fabulous time on Disney Cruise Line. So it's a blooper day. Yes, that's right. Um, it is Mercury retrograde for me. I'm a Leo and it, just Google what Mercury retrograde is if you don't know, but we lost footage. Yes, technology is not doing favors for us right now. And on top of that, I have Hurricane Hermine hair today. I did not do it. So I'm sorry for the lovely professional hairdo and everything I have. Anyway, I'm here to tell you about the amazing experience that you're going to have on a Disney cruise. So from the moment you step on board the ship on Disney, you will experience everything the Disney Imagineers and Disney crew have to offer you starting with their service. The service that you experience on board a Disney ship has everything to do with the way that you feel an amazing time and they have definitely service with a smile down pat. So the next step is the wonderful performances that they have in the entertainment. Um, you're going to have Broadway-esque performances on board your Disney cruise ship. And one of those things that I can tell you that you are going to get out of that is things like New York City Broadway performances like The Lion King and Aladdin or a Cinderella story. They have Cinderella story with a twist on board the ship or they even have spectacular experiences like um, there's a show on board that is all of the villains coming together and they're trying to take over the world and it's just a really unique and experience that you can't get anywhere else but on Disney Cruise Line. So there's really great uh, performances for you that you would go to New York City and pay 50, 60, 75, 100 dollars to see these performances that you are getting right there in a Disney Cruise experience. On top of that, you get first runs on all of Disney's movies um, in their movie theater. And you have Pirates in the Caribbean. So Pirates in the Caribbean is that evening you'll have a pirate night. Captain Hook will teach your children how to uh, become pirates that evening. And then you'll have a pirate party, Pirates in the Caribbean, under the stars, and you'll have fireworks that evening. So it's a really great experience. Everybody come ready to dress up on board that ship that evening and really have a great time. So really first class performances, first class entertainment, and a wonderful time that you'll have. Um, on top of that, in Castaway Key, um, it's their private island. You have an adult paradise there. So children of all ages really can have a great time. Um, it's called Serenity Bay and you will just really absolutely love it. There's of course dining experiences that adults can enjoy um, and that is something if you aren't going with your children you can get away from the kids and it's really just a great experience for everybody. 
So I want to talk to you about Castaway Key. Castaway Key is the private island for Disney Cruise Line. It's right in the Bahamas and it is where Disney cruise ships will actually come right up and dock right there. No tenders needed. So that's really awesome when it comes to um, being able to dock a ship and not needing to hop on the little ships and the little boats and need to come in. You can actually get off of the ship right there. And there's all sorts of fun things that you can do. You can go and swim and find the hidden Mickeys underwater. There are teen clubs um, and there is a free included barbecue that's going on while you are on the private island, as well as all sorts of um, cabana massages and wonderful private island things to do for adults only as well. So Castaway Key is really everything Disney, everything Mickey, everything that you could possibly want for Disney Cruise Line all in one. There's also really cool water slide and a really cool um, experience that you can partake in on Castaway Key as well as just a beautiful beach. It's a private island. Who doesn't want to do that? Every single Disney Bahama cruise and every single Disney Caribbean cruise goes to the private island of Castaway Key. So water slides. Um, <laughs> So while we're on water slides, let's talk water slides. And I'm talking you're going to have a quacking good time. Yeah, I'm serious when I just said that. I'm going to talk to you about the aqua duck. The aqua duck is this really awesome water slide that's up on deck 12 on two of the ships, the Disney Dream and the Disney Fantasy. And it actually has a four-story plunge on it. So Disney Imagineers made this slide and it is awesome and it's something that you can enjoy on your Disney cruise. So if you are interested in water coasters and not just water slides, you really want to make sure that you get the opportunity to enjoy this. Um, go on a Disney cruise and experience a water coaster, the Aqua Duck. Okay, so on to dining. Dining is one of the most magical experiences in my book because I'm a total foodie and I love it. So rotational dining is one of the things that Disney is known for when you go on a Disney cruise. What is rotational dining though? What in the world is this? Well, what in the world is this is true. Um, it is where you can go to a different restaurant every evening and experience all of the restaurants that you possibly could want to. And your wait staff and your dining staff will follow you and you will make a rotation of restaurants. So you can go from different places like Luminaires or Tritons or the Royal Palace or you can go to the Animator's Palette. So Animator's Palette is possibly my favorite invention of all times for Disney Cruise Line um, in terms of dining. Um, so what Animator's Palette is is the most unique and interesting place to bring children of all ages um, who are interested in drawing, of course. Animator's Palette is a place that you bring your kids into and they have these placemats on everybody's little um, segment and the kids can draw and create these beautiful art pieces and they actually have a show going on during your dinner where their drawings come to life on the big screen. So your child becomes an artist and your child's artwork gets brought to life. So not only are they enjoying a really great first class cuisine, but dinner and a show. And the show is their own artwork. So to me, Animator's Palette is really creative, it's really amazing and entertaining to boot. So. To me, that's one of the best things ever and really enjoyable. Animator's palette um, and rotational dining are some of the best things about the dining experience with Disney Cruise Lines. And again, if you don't want to experience any um, dinner with children or anything like that, there are the, the two adult-only um, restaurants that you can enjoy. 
So there's lots to enjoy with dinner on Disney Cruise Line. So cabins are often a question about Disney Cruise Line or any other cruise line. Did you know that there's special features inside each of Disney Cruise Line's cabins? So the inside cabins have this really cool magical porthole in them. And what that is, is a real time view of what the ocean looks like outside. So even though you're in an inside cabin, it doesn't really make you feel as claustrophobic because you actually see a magical porthole of what is going on outside. And every once in a while, you might get a few drop by characters um, of Disney characters stopping by on your magical porthole. Did you also know that the word deluxe in all of Disney's cabin categories means that you have two separate bathroom areas? So the toilet or the commode area is separate from the shower or sink area. So that's great for a family traveling together. So that deluxe word means you have separate bathroom areas. So that's a hint for you when you're traveling with a group of people. Also, family rooms. Anybody who's traveling with a family, say they have that fifth person in the family and they get that top bunk. Most of the time the people feel like that they're not getting the best experience if they're in that fifth person bunk. Well, they actually have a really great experience and a little bit of pixie dust being sprinkled down on them because they have a beautiful mural painted above them and it's Peter Pan and Neverland right above them. So it's a beautiful scenery. It's really thought filled and great experience for them who is in that fifth person's bunk. Disney really took a lot of time and thought process in making sure that they took thought and thorough ideas to make sure everything was put into place in this cruise. Also, the ocean view rooms have huge portholes, not just small portholes, but the portholes are massive and you can actually sit inside of the portholes and read books or hang out and look outside. So they're really cool. And the verandas, the verandas, if you're traveling with your family and you have side-by-side -side cabins, the verandas actually do open up to each other and Disney has more side-by-side -side connecting cabins than any other cruise line in the industry. So that's a little bit to know about Disney Cruise Line and their cabin categories. Now I also wanted to tell you a little bit about the experience you get when you're going on board. You get mailed documents to you. So this is for Halloween at High Sea. I'm actually going to be going on this cruise in October. I'm so excited. They do themed cruises for you. Halloween at High Sea is one of them. They start in late September and go all the way through the end of October for it. And it's a themed cruise. They decorate the ship for the theme and you get mailed documents to you. So you go in and you actually have luggage tags mailed to you. You have a, a packing checklist, a welcome aboard. You even have a card that you leave with your family and friends just in case they need to get a hold of you. So there's a ton of valuable information inside of here and these are really, really cool for you. Additional to that, there's an iPhone and Android app that you have to download before you go. It's a countdown on your phone before you go. As soon as you board the ship, reload it. It's free to use while you're on board the Disney Cruise and it doesn't pull against your Wi-Fi or anything like that. You can use it for free and you keep track of the shows that you wanna to go to, the dining experiences that you want, and it is totally free to use. So it's just one more way that Disney makes your experience even better. And my final tidbit for you is there are wave phones inside of your cabin. So those families traveling together, mom, dad, kids, there's wave phones that you can stay in constant communication on board that ship without using your cell phones. You will actually have constant communication on the wave phones that Disney provides for you. 
So again, I'm Amanda Ballone from Roseboro Travel. Thanks for listening to my tips and tidbits today with Disney Cruise Line, and we're more than happy to help you plan your Disney cruise. Thanks. So we had to take a minute. Okay. I don't even know where I was. <laughs> and braid my hair. So we had to take a minute. Okay. So we have a blooper. Uh, yes, it's Mercury retrograde right now for me, and I'm a Leo, and we happened to lose some of the footage that we took the other day. So yes, you've got a blooper right in the middle of this. And excuse my hurricane.